Eight, yeah. Seven, oh, six, wow. five, four, three, two, one. <gasps> oh, wow. Awaiting visual confirmation. And we have impact, a family for humanity in the name of planetary defense. I love seeing smart people, scientists and stuff like that celebrating. They're like, Whoa. And they miss. Anyways, uh, that was some uh, footage of a NASA spacecraft making impact with an asteroid. Planned, by the way, uh, this is a dark mission, a, a dark, a dark mission that they're pushing to make sure that they break up a potential disaster when it comes to asteroids and potentially hitting Earth. Let's go to more details of what this whole mission is about. Tonight, nearly seven million miles from Earth, a mission right out of a Hollywood movie. NASA engaging in interstellar target practice, crashing a spacecraft into an asteroid on purpose. And liftoff of the Falcon 9 and DART on NASA's first planetary defense test to intentionally crash into an asteroid. That rocket launching a year ago with the refrigerator sized spacecraft aboard, the mission known as DART, a test of quote, planetary defense colliding tonight with a 500 foot space rock at 14,000 miles an hour in hopes of knocking it off course. Within days here, we should know by exactly how much we've been able to change its velocity. That's the whole point of the mission. More details on this because the impact occurred at 7.14 PM Eastern time. And it was greeted by cheers from the mission team in Laurel, Maryland. The DART mission or the double asteroid redirection test, it launched 10 months ago. So while the asteroid Dimorphos was not at risk of impacting Earth, this demonstration could determine how to deflect space rocks that could pose a threat to Earth in the future. They're running a test just in case we need to, and they see something barreling towards Earth. Now these results they're still looking for actual conclusions on. Let's look at those details, because at the time of impact, Didymos and Dimorphos, they were relatively close to Earth within 6.8 million miles, which is 11 million kilometers. The team estimates that the spacecraft, spacecraft hit the asteroid at a point about 55 feet away from the space rock center. I think that's amazing. That's some precision. Uh, the goal of this spacecraft, in addition to impact, is to affect the motion of this asteroid in space. But the DART team members say that it will take about two months for scientists to determine if that asteroid's orbit had actually changed. One more piece here. Dimorphos was chosen for this mission because of its size is relative to asteroids that could pose a threat to Earth. And this spacecraft is about 100 times smaller than Dimorphos. So it didn't obliterate the asteroid. Had DART missed hitting Dimorphos, the spacecraft would have been placed on an orbit that created another opportunity in two years. This is one of the things I think changes, as they mentioned there, could change the, the I guess, defense mechanisms of, of random uh, objects colliding with Earth, if that ever comes to that point. But they're testing it out now to maybe even protect and save lives or change just the way life is on the planet. But then again, if we're changing the way the universe approaches life, how are we changing it? Where is that rocket? Where is that asteroid being redirected to? There's so many questions with this. I think it's fascinating because there's infinite space out there, but we're just targeting things like a dartboard now, and I think it's crazy. Yeah, this is so cool. I love this story. I mean, they hit this asteroid dead center from almost seven million miles away. It's crazy. I can't hit a shot from the free throw line if you gave me all afternoon. I mean, this is the power of of math, and more importantly. It shows that we can still do big things, that government funded space exploration and space research is still important. I mean, we talk a lot about SpaceX and Elon Musk and private space travel, but some things are big enough that the government has to take these on. And something like this, while it may not show results immediately, will be hugely important down the line. Yeah, and we'll see if we ever get to that point because we hear sometimes, or there's a little, I guess, headlines here and there, but I haven't read deep into it. But like, oh, this asteroid that's barreling this direction has the potential, but then it never actually happens. Obviously, we would have known if it did. Um, but in that potential case, they're planning ways to, to get ahead of the game. Um, again, scientists are doing the work as far as things that we can't look for because we're just not in that realm. Maybe pay attention to them. We like to downplay the smartest people in our society a lot of times. Because it's more beneficial to be the dumb one who convinces people to give them money off of stupidity. I'm just saying, I hate to connect it that way, but it's sad. I think we should celebrate these folks.